have some, I felt a sense of, and I've talked to that dad about this, I thought about applying for that job. Yeah. Because I had this, I told you about it too, I had this sense of frustration over what a largely, you know, collection of knuckleheads the Nautic, has you know, populated the Nautic Police for years in a culture of not a completely above board feelings. There's a lot of political involvement. A lot of political involvement and guys that are not such good Nixon. Oh, for the days of Jerry Sirica. Uh -huh. And Huck Finn. And, and, uh, Huck, 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 but what, Huck, but what Huck. he and I talked about was yeah. putting on a presentation and leading a discussion around ways to build community trust and to build with your citizens and build, build the reputation of credibility within your organization. Is there a problem with that in, in Naugatuck specifically, or is that just a, a good topic to do anyway? Well, it's a good topic to do anyway. Is there any, and, reason, um, any reason to think why Naugatuck? Chris, Chris, the Chief Edson also believes that the Naugatuck police need it more than most. That was my yeah. I thought, maybe. Well, good. Any uh, estimated time on when that might happen this year or next? Can't go very far, very long. In fact, this is pretty much we're gonna we're gonna take our trip down to Florida together. Yeah, as a family uh, for that first week of May, and then we are an anchored at home, waiting for the arrival of a little girl. Number two, mm -hmm. or three. Mm -hmm. Now we're thinking about I'm gonna show this to Shirley. They also we're thinking about the name Abigail, which is Lori's grandmother's name. I love it. Isn't that nice Chloe and Abby? And it reminds me yeah. of Friendly Ice Cream. Yeah. Well, I know blonde Abigail. I told, I told Lori that. That was President Adams or President yes. Quincy Adams. That's like his wife's name. Abigail Adams. Oh, yeah. I don't know. There's something to him. Right, 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 right. I've heard that, too. But, yeah, but she, she also did something. Abigail Adams was known in her own right or something. Pretty good. Known in the Silver Mine Tavern. Towards Greenwich Town, towards New York. Silver oh yeah, Line. Norwalk. Yeah, Norwalk. It's a yeah. silver mine. I've been there once. Okay. Yeah. Well, they, they used to have a dummy as you came in and dressed in clothing of the colonial period. Oh yeah. And that statue's first name. I don't know what the last. <laughs> the statue. I guess dummy. The mannequin. Mm -hmm. That mannequin was Abigail. Abigail. Oh, that's interesting. I think it's an old colonial. I'm already equipping blonde Abigail, so no doubt we'll be a little blonde in the first two are. <laughs> Funny if they have black hair, who knows? Have a girl. Yeah, who knows? Right. Have a girl. But is doing great. She had a checkup yesterday. Oh, good. And her nice brown tummy is growing. And, mm -hmm. and uh, the baby's getting bigger and heavier. And all systems go. You have maternity coverage for her through the through the university. For me, you have for her. Oh, oh, for insurance, yes. Um, insurance. Yeah. Caleb, Caleb costs exactly nothing. What? One hundred percent pay um, maternity. Nice. Yeah. Because that's a so big. It's an expensive one. I think I think the Americans relative Lori was such an easy delivery. I think the bill was eight thousand dollars. But, I mean, that's for, um, just, gosh, it was just one night. You know, we were in, a, and, and we didn't really need to stay any longer. I mean, you know, some moms do have to, if there's complications and so forth. I mean, but that's about as cheap as it gets. I mean, we went in at 10 in the morning, and we were gone at 3 or 4 the following afternoon. They wanted you to stay 24 hours. Because there's some other tests and other vaccinations. There's some other things they want to do exactly 24 hours later. And once that's all set, plus they monitor a couple of things, then they give you the green light to go ahead and be released. But, uh, no, good thing have that. You want some more hot water for your much or much? No, no, maybe, maybe. Not, I mean, no. no. Will we be allowed to take a, a cup of tea into the next room or not? Is that, is that discouraged? No, we, I don't know just what format. <laughs> However, just keep eating. 
Hey, you can handle I've done pretty well, yeah. as you can see. Right. Would you like a little warm tea? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I thought maybe with the dry roll it was difficult to get it. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Would you like a little more tea? Well, you're, you're very fortunate that, that you affiliated yourself with the university. Right, that has you to do with that, that you took that challenge of the job. Well, I like it still very much. That's also a benefit, if you will. Listen, you know, when we were out in Illinois in January, you know, Caleb went in the hospital for four nights. Um, that probably wasn't that, that, was that for eight. Bronchiolitis. And, well, we actually, since we were out of network, Oh, right. Um, we have to submit these bills that we're getting now from the hospital and the pediatrics and the specialist and their pharmacy to our insurance company to justify the, the reimbursement. The so it's a, it's a little different than the them submitting directly, Interesting. which is what you do when you're in your own network. You know, is it possible that you'll have to you'll have to out of pocket for that? There is the problem for him. There's probably going to be a deductible. And so, and actually, that's probably going to be the, to, on the order of a couple thousand dollars. Wow. Because four, not, he was four nights he was there, you know, and IVs and. So that's probably going to be 60 and thousand. Lots of lab tests and so forth. And, oh my gosh. Uh, and he had, he had inhalers, nebulizers, and different things that, to help clear his lungs. Because his oxygen was, his oxygen was quite low. He was on a mask and how in a he, tent. And, how did he catch such a, a bug? Is that a common occurrence or is that. Sort of like a little bit. You, uh, did you ask, is this common with kids yeah, in his age? It, 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 not every kid has it, but bronchiolitis is what children under age two can get. And so it's, it's not unheard And it's a, yeah, I don't know if it's a bacteria or virus. I always get those two confused. But he was, he was being given steroids. Was that right? So they don't, and he was being given antibiotics. I don't know if they give antibiotics if it's a, maybe they don't know. It's one or the other. It's not going to hurt him to. If it's a virus, the antibiotic isn't going to do anything. But if it's an infection, it will. But he improved on day four. His oxygen levels got up. They will take the mask off and take. You know, get, stay, get out of the tent. That's pretty serious, though. You know. Well, this. Uh, let me tell you what. I had already come back to Maine. Um, because Lori was staying on at her mother's, her father's for another week, mm -hmm. and I had to come back to work. And gosh, it was the day I arrived back in Maine. My phone rings, it's Lori, she's at the doctor's office in Belvedere, Illinois, and... Uh, so, well, now, don't get upset, Noel, but here's what's going on. Yeah, here's what's going on. They just called the ambulance to take Caleb to the emergency room, right from here. From the house? Right from, not from the house, from the doctor's office. Oh. Yeah. Like, holy smokes. Probably caught something in that airport. The ambulance ride? Uh, probably, sorry. Airport. Oh, caught something, in, yeah. Well, you could get right. Well, there or, gosh, I mean, she's playing with so many kids. Also, oh, yeah. I mean, with all her cousins, and it's, it, it's like a little, it's a, it's a, it's a. Uh, don't type, don't touch anything. I'll kill you today. <laughs> I'm listening and saying, so, I enjoy uh, clearing. No, you've talked together. You've all right, I haven't seen each other for a couple of months, have you? By choice. Uh, right. <laughs> I'll find out what the sequence is. See if the, see if the, See what the sequence is. What the procedure is. So there's right. that. There's the Nogget Police Chief's card. There's the Watertown Police Chief's That's card. That's a good update. From Watertown, they still love you over there. Yeah. Well, they know my name. Well, he's still here. I had one in the first burger of our own. The police department so, was... But it was probably an annoyance to them. I don't know. But they never had to come. They used to take... They had you a had key. the box on the outside of the alarm. Right? Yeah. And they had my key. So they key, yeah. That's good. Did it ever go off? No. Because it used to go off in Naugatuck. Yeah. You had some break-ins there. You had some smash and grab there, and, you, and then you had Bud Watkins come put big bolts on the door in the back where yeah, they broke the through. The alarm once. never went off. <clears throat> Those alarms that were not motion ones, they were just if contact, what, yeah. contact, contact at the door That's and right. at the windows. Magnetic. But in, in, in Naugatuck, the fellow who broke in, he just took a big rock and he clashed ah, the, crashed the, glass. the glass in and then stepped in. Mm -hmm. So, know, no alarm? I don't know how he carried out the cash register. No, he didn't. He dropped the cash register on the marble floor in order to make it open, open up because yeah. the window opened. Ah. And after that, I started leaving the door open. 
Right. Don't break my cash register. Preserve the floor. I don't know why in the beginning I used to always close the cash register drawer. Yeah. There were only a couple of bucks in there and pennies. Yeah. Could get started the next day, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Did you recall? Was that character ever caught? Oh yeah, he came down with his prescription to be filled after. Anderson. <laughs> Anderson from Union City, his name was. I don't know how they punished him. Or <laughs> they caught him up. On he turned into a good customer. Caught him up by the middle school, uh, up by the Nogatuk. Hillside. Nogatuk High School, uh -huh. up on the hill. Hillside Avenue. Yeah, he was up there. I don't know what he was doing. <coughs> that's, where you, that's where you bagged Phillips. Was they there, caught too. him. <laughs> Converse. Well, I remember uh, Christmas. Um, once Dad had this great big giant Christmas. The, the deal was, uh, probably all through December, customers would put their name and address and phone number on a slip of paper and put it in the uh, uh, put it in the box. And uh, Christmas Eve mm -hmm. was to be the drawing. And uh, I was with Dad on Christmas Eve. I don't remember much of this at all. Yeah, I mean, no, you weren't there. All it was right. just Dad and I. And uh, I helped him close up or or whatever the deal was. And uh, oh, we got to do the drawing. And so, oh, good. Well, this will be fun. Can I draw the name? All right. And he said, no. Oh. It's got to be random. Well, it, no, didn't. That's just it. And as I'm imagine my, how perplexed I was and a little disappointed. Oh, no. As he opens the box and starts going through the names. <laughs> starts for going, somebody who really needed it. For somebody who really needed it. And I asked him, why aren't you just going to reach in and pick a name without looking? And he says, No. And I'm, I'm, I'm look, and he came upon a name of a family that would need this and appreciate this and had less right. money and mm -hmm. less means and uh, than others. It's called the right thing to do. And took that name. I'm still finishing this. No, you keep eating. I will. And we took I'm that. To, I'm going to empty the table. Okay. And, but do you have room now for dessert? There yeah, I do. Okay. Sir. Do have room? Sure. Okay. Please. Yeah, you Thank bet. you. All right. So we'll take. We'll, we're all. We're all still. Noel's telling me about the crisp, the big Christmas stocking. You pulled the name out of a needy family one year. Probably, I forget many. Things. Yeah, I think I might have told you this one of my last visits, Dad. But no, I, I have. That's just one of those. Many times I have little mental blocks. I don't mean not for now. But yeah, but just. Of my past life, by many times. Well, you also have. You, you also have a remarkable memory, I think. But anyway, we loaded that stocking. You you picked out the name. Of the family that was most in need, yeah. as opposed to randomly drawing, okay. and we loaded that Christmas stocking. It was like six feet tall, or five feet tall, five or six feet tall, into the uh, Volkswagen, uh -huh. and I can't remember if it was the red one or the gray one, but uh, I mean it was long enough ago. It could have been the gray one, mm -hmm. but uh, and we headed up over I don't know off City Hill Street somewhere. Um, I, I remember it was the other side of the Nauta River. And uh, Dad had me bring the, the, the uh, knock on the door and bring the stocking to the front door. Oh, that's a nice story, and Dad. say, March's Pharmacy. Yeah. You, there's, won, there's you, won this, you won this stocking and Merry Christmas. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you won the stocking. And uh, that's probably one of the accounts that Stella was trying to collect bad debts from. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, you set a good example, LJ. I think the name was Anderson from Union City. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. There's a lot of Andersons there. <laughs> How many years did you do that big stocking? One year only? I didn't even remember it. I remember. I, I remember. I only remember once. One time. Yeah. I would have. Listen, I would have paid a great deal of attention as I did that one Christmas. Yeah. To a five or six foot Christmas stocking. It was hanging behind the. Uh, Cash register. Uh huh. Like underneath Dad's diplomas. Okay. On that wall. Because as you, as you stood at the cash register with Dad, at Dad's drugstore, mm -hmm. behind your head were the certificate, were the uh, his pharmacy license and his diploma. From that too, I don't. I don't. I can't oh, picture. Oh, I have to remember that. And the condoms, the prophylactics, were underneath the cash register. So, in little drawers. Right. So, anyways, man comes in. I'm covering the cash. I had learned how to use the cash register, so I'd ring up you know, a candy bar or a shampoo or whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, put the numbers in, and and I would take money and make change on occasion. Okay. And uh, gosh, I'm all of probably seventh grade, eighth grade. But, um, and, I remember, and I remember on Stella sitting at the 
little desk next to me, you know, and, but I liked sure doing it. Mm -hmm. And a fellow walks in, a fellow wasn't there or whatever, but a fellow walks in and, uh, and, uh, and he, he says, I'd, uh, <clears throat> I'd like some uh, prophylactics. Fully grown man. To a, se to a seventh grade kid. Right. And, to, and I reply, um, I'm sorry, what? what? I'd like some prophylactics. And this guy, I mean, he's not looking me in the eye, he's kind of shuffling around. <laughs> it's sort of like the American Graffiti movie, I'll have that comb. Right, and, exactly. Uh, some rubber bands of prophylactics and a, a tissue box. Right. <laughs> and, uh, gosh, yeah, so I, um, feeling, sensing the discomfort around something I didn't know, and this guy's obvious discomfort. This might be a, this might be a personal problem. Well, I said, excuse me. And Dad was filling prescriptions at the counter. Sure. At his prescription counter. <laughs> so I only had to walk four or five steps to whisper to Dad, this man wants something, I don't know what it is. And I think, Dad, I think, Dad, you were almost like on your way and he was taking steps my way anyway. Your luck, Dad. The one day that you ask him to help at the register, somebody comes up and asks for prophylactic. Yeah. And you're not like, ah, oh, Jesus, of all the days. No, that's my luck. <laughs> but anyway, but Dad was great. No, no, he took care of him and... And uh, he rang up the sale and so forth. And, uh, and Dad but, but then Dad just gave me an orientation. Now these are prophylactics. And I remember there was the Sensi, Sensi color. Here are some multicolored ones, Sensi color. Mm -hmm. And here are some Trojans, some you know, a couple you know more plain. Bright. And he just and very. And we want you to push the Sensi color because there's a higher margin on these. <laughs> and remember, and everything is marked up a third. Everything is marked up a third. A third. Okay, that's very fair. I remember Dad saying that over and over. Mark it up a third. It's marked up a third. With his little code, his little three-letter code for for what the uh, I think Dad what the wholesale cost was. You did by three letters or Andy Clerk. Andy, Andy Clerk. Andy Clerk. Oh right. Yeah, Andy Clerk. Yeah. H A N D Y C L E R K. Right. So based <laughs> on that, that was the code to know. I think to know what the wholesale was, and then versus what seven the Quick. retail right. I don't know. L. L. <laughs> so very exciting. LJ, you're down on your hands and knees waiting on us over here. Can we be of some assistance? No, I just want to clear it off a little bit. Uh, I made I made the boo boo. I put you know. I've got back the love of Michael here. How are you getting around, all right? I'm not. It's Your brother Edwin is hobbling bad. He's not in good shape. Must well, be 92. 90. 90 more than that. He's, he's got to be only lucky if he makes it to 93. Yeah, 90, I, think, I think he is 93. He is 92. He'll be 93 in August. Well, that's next. Okay. Leave the teacups out. He's okay. slowing down at a rapid we'll rate. Look, we'll any more? We'll have some more. Any more of that hot water? No, we'll get, we'll get a new bag. Okay. 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 What do you just think? So I like East Hampton. I just I thought it was fine. Well, had, well, had you never been there before? Well, well, no, I've been to your house once. You've been to my house, okay. But um, I just never spent much time, or just looking around. I mean, the whole thing. I just my whole drive over. Um, I mean, two things strike me. One, just how developed Middletown and Middlebury, everything's giant drugstores and and super WalMarts and Lowe's, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but also driving across this Route 2, Route 16, Route 66, mm -hmm. and I had never noticed before because I just I didn't have the maturity or otherwise. But some really beautiful, old, I mean, like 1700s Colonial Connecticut houses. Oh yeah. With stone foundations mm -hmm. and leaded glass. Is that part of the country? Yeah. Uh, that county was first before. Salt box style <coughs> and federal right. hip roof and old capes. Mm -hmm. We could see it was for tea bags. Yep. Now, yes, did. now what, what arrests my attention as I drive those roads in that part of the state, yeah. especially this time of year, is the incredible, unsurpassed amount of litter I'm stuck in the stuck in, in uh, along the sides of the road. Yeah. And every after every winter it gets much worse, and far worse as I recall than when the National Ad Council ran the whole, you know, uh, crying Indian thing, the pitch in campaign. Right. Don't be a litter bug. Right. I cannot believe the amount of trash in the bushes. And secondly, the amount of invasive vines and tangles and 
oriental bittersweet that is at, that is completely choking and tearing down our heritage trees right, of birches and maples and oaks. I Those think Benedict Arnold, I think, came over from that part of the county. Yeah. yeah. He, he may have studied at University of Yale, but he tramped, he tramped all through there. But those are the two things that bug me about yeah. southeast Connecticut. Northwest corner doesn't have it. There's no weeds and no vines up there, and much less, much less litter. That the part of the state you were in, if you if you open an eye to that, if you pay attention to that, you're like, wow. Now that I notice, it's unbelievable. Well, I was looking for some of those things. Do you need another well, uh, green go, green seed? Yes, sir. Okay. You want another bagel? Sure. Yep. Pick what, LJ? Yeah, okay. Lift mine, to no, mine has to be the decaf. Oh, that's not decaf. You're going to have to get it out of the cupboard. Yep. All right. Well, I mean, Southeast Connecticut is known for it. That's the highest concentration. I thought you may have stopped by it when you were looking. You were going to be late. I thought maybe you were going to drop off at, no, at uh, Jonathan's place. Well, when he called me on the phone, I thought about that. I could easily have, but John had already left his house. He had to oh, right. make a run down to Cheshire or Waterbury or something. And I would have, I would have picked you up and brought you, brought you here. I was already gone. Because East Hampton is not that far from that. Oh, no, he was I, right I, there. I drove right through East Hampton. Okay. He was right there. Well, if we all, if we get together sometime, I'm having, Bridge. I'm having my boat work done. I might actually fix, clean up the house and have everybody over for a boat ride in the spring or summer or fall this year. My boat's up in Boot Bay. The route, the route didn't take me by your lake. Hope no, because you went on 16. Had you gone Route 2 and not taken... Did you take, did you use a GPS? Huh? You, you looked at the map and said, it pulled, pulled over or whatever? Yeah, 2 to 16? Huh? Yeah, well, had you not taken 16, had you gone one, one or two more exits north and taken 66 over due oh, west, yeah. then you would have gone right past my lake. Okay, right. So you just cut that corner. Marlboro over or whatever that was. That's right. Right. Straight to Marlboro and 66 East, and then yeah. you would have been seen. Well, I sometimes wonder if I should have gone. I could have had the job at Eastern Connecticut State University. Uh, I don't know if I told you just before I got yeah, to Mary Glory. No, I would say probably you, you made the right decision, I'd say. Yeah. You're lucky to live in Maine. Yeah. I think. I, keep, I, I do. I keep, you know, it's I keep finding more and more and more and more reasons. That's that, good uh, that you. Yeah. Did but, but, um, <laughs> but she wrote a book called Here If You Need Me. Pretty good. Cool. Yeah. And she says sometimes, because I'm known for talking, 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 but sometimes my job is to show up, shut up, and just be. Is, and she's going to be on Oprah. And listen. Now you know her now? I've read her book. You know her you, because she's a I, 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 Yeah, I knew her husband. And I knew her when he what, was alive. What town was he in? He was a state trooper and patrolling around the Thomas. This is beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Shirley. I'll re reiterate. Where'd you get such beautiful strawberries, Daddy? Oliver's market. Beautiful. Oliver as in. No, she mixes frozen with real. Oh, with smart. Unfrozen. Smart. This is some of the best dessert available. I think I think Lori does that. It's a nice combo. Wow. So where are you going for Easter, Dad? Gonna go down the road? You think you'll get an invi invite? Don't know here. I guess I'll have to go over to the over to the Johnsons, as usual. Mm -hmm. I imagine. Lori's working at the hospital. Well, don't you have an anniversary coming up next week? This past week. This past. This, this, the, this week with this just ending now, the 18th. This week. When's, yeah. when's your anniversary? 318. Is it? <laughs> Was it yesterday? Today's the 21st. Oh. So it was Tuesday. I had a reminder for it. That's all right. And it must have... Mostly, <clears throat> mostly, classically... I have one for 20 Classically, seconds. only the couple really remembers their own... I know they remember, but does anything Acknowledge about yeah. acknowledgement. I mean, they, they make cards for mm -hmm. anniversaries for others to send in, but it's really a thing between the... Oh no! Well, it's still. You know, I had a thing in my computer, and it's I'm supposed to remember it, and it didn't. This is beautiful. Now, what happened was I got an email because I have a program, Dad, that reminds me of important dates. And I got an email two or three days ago. It said March 27th, but I think that's Shirley's birthday. Mm -hmm. I got that one. February. 
227? Okay. Mm -hmm. 327, I don't know what it is. And then, I don't know if you know, my dog tripped on my computer and went crashed to the living room floor, oh. and I lost all of my reminders. Oh, God. Hmm. It cost me $1,500 to replace it. Good and God. I lost hundreds of hours Good God. of reminders and names and phone numbers because I, I, I didn't back it up to a, to a backup drive, which I learned my lesson. You didn't have backup post-it notes? Uh, yes, they're in a milk crate still. So I went through all of my entire history from the date of the photo was taken on Weber's Hill, that hike we took, mm -hmm. to uh, times in Maine, to trips, to Lost in Space conventions, to, to Shirley's birthday, and all everything in between, and it's all now still back in the crate again after I had it all over back in such a hard time keeping up with the amount of work I have to do. I have to edit videos now. And I'm really? awful, awful busy this year. Well, that's a good problem to have, isn't it? Not if they're all favors. Mm. <laughs> I keep saying, I'll, I'll help you, I'll help you. Uh, and it just turns into, John, uh, what's, how's that coming? <laughs> the pressure. You ever get that email? How's it coming, Noel? How's that, how's that thing we talked about coming? Yeah, I, uh -oh. I send those. Oh boy. I need more doers. I need more assistants. We, nice. we had a series of break ins. We just finished spring break at the university. Mm -hmm. Students came back for their two weeks of sun and fun, or whatever they did, to find this one particular residence hall had eight different rooms broken into. And there. IPods and computers and cash and so forth mm -hmm. cleaned out. I say broken into, there's no breaking involved. <clears throat> Someone has a key. Ah, do you think you know who did it? Not yet. We're still working on it. Working on it full time. So it's called spring break in. Uh, oh, wait. You got parents calling me, writing me. Oh, by golly. Is my daughter safe? Does an <laughs> unknown, you know, bad man have a key? Now here's an example of good luck. Gosh. My partner Al had his computer in the back seat of his car, and he left his car accidentally unlocked in Southbury. Mm -hmm. Somebody reached in the back seat, pulled out his laptop from, from the back seat. Mm -hmm. Apple, you know, computer, $2,000 laptop. <clears throat> and Southbury Police Department found it the next day on eBay. Because they had already, they knew that there was something going on. So this was like the last straw, this is the last bit of information they needed. And they found the guy because of it. Mm -hmm. They bought it on eBay from him, got his shipping address, found that it was indeed Southbury, went there and knocked, found all the other stolen stuff, found all the records, Al got his laptop back. Fantastic. But in the meantime, he'd already put in for a stone, being stolen, so he got a free laptop out of it, and he got his old one back eventually, okay. after, after he got through the court system. So he, he put in for what, he got put in for insurance? Auto insurance. So he gave that money back to the insurance company? Oh, sure. Right. So, <laughs> if only Al would make out that lucky, you know. Hey, how often does that happen? You get it recovered, and you get it paid for. Your name is like Benny. Yeah, that's right. right. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I continue to be impressed, Jonathan. With my restraint. No, with with Al's. Uh, with my restraint. <laughs> I'm not hey. going to say favorably impressed or otherwise, but. How do you like those tongs I got for Shirley and Leonard? That big did you, did ice, you ice tongs. Yeah. Did you want us? Yeah, I did. It's beautiful. And pretty good. That's great. And grab a block of ice with Thurston's. <laughs> Came right Is that from Thurston's? From Thurston's Ice House. I bet they, uh, <laughs> I bet they would have used something just like that. Well, I don't know. They all did all the people out of the cabins up in Maine have them in there. Sure. That's great. Every Honestly, cottage it's used to have to get their ice. Something John Gould would have used and probably was, wrote about. No, I think there was a, <clears throat> there was, in Casco there was. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And there's a little porch that you went in. Ah, the yeah. refrigerator. In the, in the ice box. Ice box. That's right. right. Oh boy, the times they are a changing. <coughs> so Eddie, oh, yeah. Eddie and Andy Culver have that Mrs. Culver's cottage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anna's cottage. Mm -hmm. And they uh, they built a house at the top of the road mm -hmm. where you get your oil pan smashed every time you drive through when it's rutted up. Oh, good. But they built a, a year round home that. Um, so they go up there when they go up there snowmobiling and, 
and so forth. I don't know which one, one of them plans to retire there or something. But mm -hmm. Did they own land or they, they bought a piece of it? Oh, good. Right. Well, they needed an advantage like that. They were a disadvantaged family. But Dad, do I understand that uh, you received a Central Grain Company oh, yeah. calendar in the mail? I got one too. I've got one too. I didn't get one. The new no. calendars came in. What a ripoff! I'll see. I'll All see. right. Yeah, I, pro I protest. So I want mine. Don't pick up anything. I like to wax them out and to see before right. I put them together. Uh, uh, I'll be all right. Now it's all. Um, what have I gone? Also, the calendar with the tractors on it. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, and then there were. Other, I had another car another calendar from them also. It came in that. Oh, oh, two. Well, you see, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't. Well, you got the tractor calendar, and then what's the other one? I don't know. It's a little baby size. Like a notebook, a week's planner. Oh, is that right? Oh, nice. They're nice people, dear. Oh, you know I called them? Well, Lori told me that uh, she, she, she talks to her mom every day. Oh, all right. And I have to get the unlimited long-distance package mm -hmm. from the phone company, but it's worth it. That's right. Um, she's, oh, she's far away. Oh, my that. gosh. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. You know, I took her out of the You room. really ought to have a little video phone on your computer we'll so get, they can we'll, see each other. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I got Bob on one line, and I got Lucy on another. Could could Bob understand yet? He's got a little. He doesn't oh, yeah. hear all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked her if they're still taking us Kuma and all. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh gosh, Dad, perfect, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> no, Lori. Lori told me that uh, her mom told her yeah. that. Uh, kind of surprised that, them, I guess. That you right? You you would call out there. This is while I was yeah, down nice. here.